And we're off. Our number one seed here tonight, of course. I like Pie and Mouth. The unstoppable monster of Wichita scene. But can SK have something to do with that? A point blank Nikita is gonna be some interesting early damage, but yeah, if you let Pi get in there, that's gonna be a lot of damage on your part. But Snake does have a unique uh, combo break option, obviously, so. Palutena has to be a little bit more edge guard focused, which Pi has told me before that he absolutely loves edge guarding Snake. He loves playing this character because he feels very confident in getting those offstage kills. But trying to back air Snake's crouch is not going to work out for him there. Nice little approach by SK that uh, I kind of underestimate or overestimated the range of his there. Still, let's see what happens here. The Nair, of course, is not going to break Cypher, but that up tilt the wrong way is going to be a back throw. Snake a little too heavy, but... Snake's weight is going to be huge. Uh, in keeping himself alive. Oh, I really thought Pi was going to dare there, but he is going to punish the Nair off ledge with a back air. And maintain a pretty solid lead. Now, can you get a grenade out here? SK not able to there. And are you dead? You're in trouble, yeah. Pi is all over that. You can't be recovering too low like that. Go. A trace. And no back. And SK is starting to miss some basic things here. Can't get flustered by the situation. Especially when you're a character like Snake, where neutral and stage control are so important. You can't be rushing to options. You've got to let the game come to you. And Pi will kill you, absolutely kill you, for getting impatient. Wow, that actually anti-air. You don't see Snakes do that every day. Normally, because you see Snake's anti-air with up tilt. But I guess up tilt did the trick there, too. Catches Pi approaching badly with the C4. And that explosive flame is going to do it. <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, this, the screen was being used for another purpose for a minute there. against Palutena, in my opinion. But, SK believes, and we are going into game two of Winner's Quarter Finals. I'm just gonna pick up the mic, because I'm bending down and hurting my back. Catches that explosive flame off of a jump, and yeah, Pi is just all over your defensive options. Every single choice SK is making, Pi has got the response for it. Yeah. Yeah. Another day in the office for Mr. Pie and Mouth. And there's the teleport cancels I'm talking about. It's very difficult to know exactly where Palutena is going to go. Her mix-up potential on landing is just significantly better here than most stages. And you can see Pi is a big fan of the smaller blast zones too. Okay, good spot dodge there. Oh no, SK a little bit too close and he is gonna die to that up air. SK just a little inaccurate on some of his options in this set and Pi is a very unforgiving player. Pi is not messing around with that up tilt, just plays the patient game there and makes himself very difficult to punish for reasons we talked about. Yeah. Pi is not simply just going to jump on your best option there. He is too smart in this matchup. He's going to tech that down air really nicely. And this is looking a little bit like a wrap, folks. It's hard to uh, see a scenario where SK comes away with this one. And that is going to do it. Woo! All right. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's, uh, it's, it's like I told you folks, Pi, Pi believes in himself in this matchup. <laughs>